Hello guys, prop you up right here. I'm mixing it up this month. I am getting a little bit tired of doing the same monthly plan with me videos. I just feel like I say the same thing over and over again in those videos and they just have gotten repetitive for me to film and I'm sure repetitive for you guys to watch. March is definitely one of those months for me that isn't very exciting. Like moving into April, May, June, like that gets more exciting because spring is coming, but March just feels like, at least here in Virginia, it's like the endless winter and it's gloomy outside and it's like three months into the year. So you're kind of like coming down from that New Year's excitement and the March slump is real, but I'm gonna try to avoid that this year and not let that affect me you know i am really trying this year to not just fall into mental patterns that i fall into just by habit and just quickly be like no i'm not gonna just be like oh march is a throwaway month what does that even mean okay this year we're not doing that anymore we're not allowing self-sabotage to creep in and we're gonna make the most of every day and be present show up for ourself, for our goals. We have a lot of things to do today and I'm excited. So let's get into it. I thought I would quickly show you the books I'm gonna be reading in March because I know you guys love books. I always get comments and DMs anytime I mention books. So the first book I'm gonna be reading is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. This is a science fiction by the guy who wrote The Martian, which I haven't read, but I'm very excited to read this. And yes, I have a unicorn bookmark that moves, okay? Um, I'm also rereading a Court of Thorns and Roses. If you haven't heard about this, I feel like it's kind of impossible to not know about this these days, but I'm pretty sure the author is gonna be releasing a new book in the series this year. And I read this years ago, so I completely forget a lot of what happens. And I haven't read the newest one, A Court of Silver Flames. So I wanted to give it a reread because I wanna be prepared if she releases a new book. So I recently got this calendar, it's from Amazon and i just like having this here with my general plan um because i like putting just the basic highlights of my month here on the board from my planner like take what i put on my planner and do an even more simplified version and put it on here just so i can see like basic times of you know deadlines or times when i'm not going to be here when i need to plan ahead uh, like content, things like that. So I like having it here. I'm such a visual person. This might seem like overkill, but I just, I need to have things everywhere. I'm gonna write some goals for the month over here as well, just so that I like having them there and I feel more accountable to them because they're just, they're on my wall. So <laughs> I, got, I can't, there's no way to forget them. <laughs> then every month I make new wallpapers for you guys, free wallpapers, I will have these linked below, but I thought I would show you a little bit of the process of me making them. I always start going on Unsplash or Pexels, which are free photo apps, and I find the pictures that I wanna use for the month, and then I create these in Illustrator. I like using Illustrator just cause I'm used to it, and I put in all of the pictures, and I start putting the month on each of the wallpapers, 
and I just play around with different fonts and layouts and I basically just kind of mess around with it until I get a look that I like. And then I will add in the little calendars and I make these with a little text box that I edit and I do this whole process. I'm not going to explain the whole process to you right now because it's kind of boring, but I just basically put the little calendars on there and I mess around with it until I get wallpapers that I like and that I think you guys will like. So. I will have these linked below. They are free. You just download them on a Google Drive link and you can upload them to your laptop and your iPad and it's pretty simple. There's just something about updating your wallpaper every month and I love that you guys all love it too and we all do it together and I love seeing you guys share it and it's just a fun, a fun way to start off the month and I have a lot of fun making these. Now it's time to plan the month. We've cleaned and tidied and gotten everything organized. We can sit down and really think about our month. So my intention for this month is just consistency with work and wellness. Consistency is a word that I just keep at the top of my mind all the time. Anything you do in life, if you are consistent, it will take you further than any talent or any you know natural abilities. Consistency is everything. Then I write down my top three priorities for the month. These are the three things that I really need to focus on. And then I just brain dump my to-do list, just the top things that come to mind that I need to do. And I kept the to-do list on this planner short on purpose. I find that I tend to overestimate how much I can accomplish in a month. And I used to make these super long to-do lists and then I would always end up not finishing them and feeling bad. So whenever I am challenged to really think about the top, you know, five to eight things that I can realistically get done in a month, I am way more likely to accomplish it and feel good about the month at the end. And if you end up getting all of them done and want to do more, bonus. But I found life always comes up and something in my life that is happening this month is I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert. I cannot wait. I will be sharing it on social media. I know it has nothing to do with Flourish Planner brand whatsoever, but how can I not share going to the opening night of the Eras tour? I just, I, I have to share it. So I'm so excited for that. And because of that, I planned a lot of my video content and things like that for this month, just making sure that I'm feeling prepared before I go travel because because traveling kind of ruins my whole schedule and routine. So I like to feel a little bit prepared before going into that, just so that I can truly be present and enjoy my time. to make my March vision board. And of course, this month, like other months, is just about being consistent with my routines. But something I wanted to add to this vision board was some images of romanticizing the travel process. Because I am traveling this month, I tend to get anxiety before I travel. I know it's exciting and I know once I'm there, I will have a good time, but the lead up to traveling for me is very anxiety inducing. So I'm trying to pick some images from here that kind of help me romanticize that whole process and will help me turn that nervous energy into excited energy. I don't know if anybody else also gets nervous or weird about traveling. I'm such a creature of habit and and I love my routines and I love my day-to-day, -day, which is why it's good to travel, to get me out of that routine. And I just have to remind myself that these are good things, nothing to be nervous about or anxious about. And that completes the March planning reset session. Whatever your year is looking like so far, whatever your 
goals are looking like so far. I just want to say you're doing great. I believe in you. You got this. And no matter what, even if you feel like you're having a bad start to the year, a slow start to the year, it's completely okay. You got this. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.